you see, Wally, there's this incredible building that they built at Findhorn. The man who designed it had never designed anything in his life. He wrote children's books. And some people wanted it to be a sort of hall of meditation, and others wanted it to be a kind of lecture hall. But the psychic part of the community wanted it to serve another function as well, because they wanted it to be a kind of spaceship, which at night could rise up and let the UFOs know that this was a safe place to land, and that they would find friends there. So the problem was, because it needed a massive kind of roof, was how to have a roof that would stay on the building, but at the same time be able to fly up at night and meet the flying sources. So the architect meditated and meditated, and he finally came up with the very simple solution of not actually joining the roof to the building, which means that it should fall off because they have great gales up in northern Scotland. So to keep it from falling off, he got beach stones from the beach, or we did because I, I worked on this building, all up and down the roof, just like that. And the idea was that the energy that would flow from stone to stone would be so strong, you see, that it would keep the roof down under any conditions. But at the same time, if the roof needed to go up, it'd be light enough to go up. Well, <laughs> it works, you see. Now, architects don't know why it works, and it shouldn't work, because it should fall off. But it works. It does work. The gales blow, and the roof should fall off, but it doesn't fall off. <coughs> yeah. Well, uh, do you want to know my actual response to all this? I mean, do you want to hear my actual response? Yes. Inconceivable! 